good afternoon or good evening wherever you are in the world. Welcome to another Janice Designs tutorial. My name is Janice and today we are going to design a weekly gratitude tracker just right in front of you right here. So we are going to recreate this tracker and it is not as hard as you think because we are going to use one of my InDesign templates to create uh, this lovely uh, useful tracker because once you start using an InDesign template you cut down the design time by heaps so let's get started shall we so first we open our uh, template file so whatever sizes that you want comes in three sizes I usually use uh, A4 size so stick to whatever size that you want so I'll just double click it and it will open a new untitled document, okay? So you wouldn't, you wouldn't touch the original template file in your folder. So you scroll down to, let me just uh, change the over print view so I don't want all the lines. So you'll see as it is. So you had six pages and what we want to look at is using the last page with, which is the weekly gratitude tracker. So we are going to just zoom in oops oh, this thing is blocking me okay we are just going to zoom in okay and we are going to remove certain elements all you need to do is change a few elements and um maybe add a, add a little bit bits and pieces add a image background you change a, a, a couple or a few elements in your page and you'll get a completely new design so we are going to just delete this because we don't need it okay you can use it if you want to but you don't need it um, and usually your website you change right at the master page because the master page uh, just lets you to uh, it's very useful if you have a repetition of a certain um, uh, it, if you let's say you have the same thing going on on each page using a master page is it just makes life more simpler for you I'll just type my website okay I just want to check what I did I think I did in okay let's do a different font okay comforta the fonts that comes with the template you are able to use it for commercial use so don't worry if you don't want to, ch to change the uh, fonts it's fine because they are all available for um, for commercial use okay so when you get one of my templates, there will be a file, a dating started guide, where it shows you the fonts that you can download and install on your computer, and then you can open the um, open the InDesign template, and you can start designing away. Okay, now back to this. Sorry, I got distracted there for a moment. Um, maybe put a little bit smaller. Maybe number seven. I think seven points would be perfect. And. I Okay, another shortcut for you to do is if let's say you want all of this to be lowercase, if you if you want this text all to be lowercase, head over to type, change case, and just click lowercase. So so make sure you select your font, uh, type, change case, and to lowercase. Okay, just like that. And then let's say you want this. Uh, you want this website to be clickable to go to your website all you have to do is click on your text right click and go to hyperlinks new hyperlink and you type the um, your website okay and then click ok and then we want to make sure that this is centralized within the margins so okay and then we'll copy so that hold your alt and shift key and let go and then just make sure this is in the middle as well that's all you have to do and go back to your page and click on your weekly gratitude tracker page so next we are going to put an image behind this um, on the back in the background so what we are going to do is we are going to find the image that we want so this is the image that I like 
I'll just put it outside like this and then just drag it in. So drag it in. Do not click on the... If you click, it's going to be like super huge like that, okay? So you don't want to do that. So drag it in and it gives you like a little container holding your image. And then you go right at the at the side of the page and then just drag it out towards the towards the height of your page and just let go okay so it will fit the image will fit to whatever size that you created on your page so click on the image and then centralize it and then right click go to arrange send to back okay you want to put it right behind and then you want to crop uh, you know towards the a4 size it's very easy with um using indesign to crop an image is very simple so you just click here and you just move like that super simple that's one thing i love about um indesign is the cropping the cropping tool is very useful okay so we want to change this and make sure there's a white background okay just check everything looks good um, and maybe I don't want uh, to have the I don't want the um, stroke on. Um, I just want it to be like that. I just want to remove the stroke at the top. So just select everything, and then I wonder whether no, we have to do this individual. Okay, it's not hard. I find my own templates are very useful for even for me. Um, the reason why I created these templates is to simplify uh, not only your life but myself as well, my own life. So as I as I create these templates, I also using it for myself as well. Believe it or not, I know I can probably just do it from scratch, but I find sometimes just using a ready-made template is just so much easier to work with okay so once we've done that we i want to have a stroke along the border of the box something like uh, this one here and then we'll make it curvy okay so we'll create the strokes first on each one oops yep so all we have to do is click here and then make sure this stroke is at the front if it's at the back then you know you don't want you don't want to switch over like that you you just want to make sure that this stroke is at the front and you click black okay and maybe maybe we'll put it down to maybe 0 0.5 you don't want it to be too thick you don't want to it to be too thin either and then i like to have a stroke um i don't think you can do this um uh, you probably have to do this Oh, yes, you can actually. Okay, now select everything. We'll do this the easy way. I should have done this. I've done, I've done it the other way. I have to go individual and just make rounded corners for each individual boxes. But you can do this the easier way. Select all your boxes and then click over this to this part here. Click here and click here, round it. And then you can change the... Um, the curve to about five mils and then you'll get everything is rounded it's very easy i should have done this earlier anyway now you can notice once you have rounded the corners this line yeah i just these lines are coming out and we don't want that uh, all you have to do is double click in okay just head over and it will just your, your cursor will change to this and when the arrow changes then you can actually move it back like that okay so basically it's, it's a container in a container it's very hard to explain just <laughs> just follow my method okay let me just see if i can actually show you a lined view of the whole thing um or oh, there's no i don't think there's a line view in InDesign because in um, illustrator there's line view where you can actually see the outline of everything uh but basically this container is different from there's a container in a container you know there's your the ones that you're trying to edit is not this container okay, i'll just undo it there's a container for the lines as well for the in for the content so you're actually bringing your content inside 
the line so everything fits within okay so double click and then just hit over here and then just bring it here okay this is a bit of a long-winded explanation but i hope you get what i mean right now okay so just do the same for this okay and then you, just, you don't have to click you don't have to keep clicking into um <clears throat> the box once you activate one box it activates for everything else okay so okay that's it and then you want to put a box behind the weekly gratitude tracker so your text and out so you can always make a copy of this just hold your alt key and shift key and then just drag it out and let go okay and then you can adjust towards your the height of the text all right and then just okay so i want to i want this to be blue like the same color as the background so all i have to do is click your box make sure this is at the front and then use your eyedropper tool and then just select the color that you like just like that and then make sure you select the image select this and select the image together right click and send both to back so your text will be at the front all right and then double click on your text oops and maybe you want to put your text a little bit smaller uh, maybe around 26 size I just want to make sure that this is in the middle it's sitting in the middle okay yep and and maybe you're gonna shorten your uh, length a little bit and and then you want this to align in the middle as well just let me check what else did I missed it's a little bit darker you can put a little darker if you want uh, okay we'll just put a little bit darker as well so we'll just select the box and then use your eyedropper tool and just click the color that you like well, it's just too dark isn't it let's try again is it this color yep i think we got it almost correct i think just right so just make sure that your um, Again. doesn't have to be exact okay <clears throat> um, I'll just click this and maybe bring it down a little bit and this one as well okay I think it looks so much better now and maybe I'll create this a little bit um, bigger so that my text maybe I'll put it a little bit bigger as well maybe 28 points I think it looks better if it's bigger yep that looks good okay so lastly we are going to focus on the website now i just realized that i've edited at the master page okay but because we have just put the background the background seems to um it's it's on top of usually when you put a background everything goes on top of your master page so i can't really edit it and whenever you put something you know like this let me just put a color in it <clears throat> you click like this click both again and send to back the text won't really show up because it's hidden it, you can't really touch it because it's a master page so i just demonstrate for you i'll just arrange it to center back like what we did earlier okay it's really center back but you see that the text is still like you know it's not coming at the front because you can't really edit it you have to edit on the master level master page level so um in this instance i would uh delete it okay just follow this step okay just um select this and then alt and shift to copy just bring it down like that okay 
we are going to recreate uh, your website on top of the uh, the one that you have okay all right and double click in and then just type like just type and then space it out to space it out space your kerning which space the, the space between the letters just hold the alt key and your right arrow okay all right and vice versa left arrow to bring it closer right arrow to space it out um, and maybe I'll put the text to maybe eight points and I'll center it and maybe shorten the length a little bit I think that looks really good and then we'll center it again now because we've inserted the link in the website on the master page when you save as an interactive PDF this would not be clickable because um, as I mentioned before, it's on the master page level. So once we've created something on top of the master page, sometimes it will not work. So you need to create the link again. Okay. So click on your text box here and then right click the same thing, hyperlink, new hyperlink. Okay. Please, please let me know if you do not understand. Okay. In my in the comments below because I am willing to explain it a little bit clearer um, to you if you still do not really understand why I did that um, but yeah I hope action speaks louder than words okay so we've done that and our tracker page is done very very easy to do and then you can save as a PDF just go to file um, export Okay, and make sure you select in Adobe PDF Interactive. Okay, if you select Interactive, it means that uh, if you create a link within your PDF, that link will be clickable. If not, if you don't do that, your link will not be clickable. Okay, so I want it to be clickable. So we just put here a uh, tracker. Um, we just put here weekly gratitude tracker or tutorial okay and then we'll go to your tracker template um yeah I this is the original one that i've created and we're just going to save in this place okay so range i just want to save this just one page so look at your page it's on page six so just select page six and then export your uh, design into a interactive PDF and that will make your link clickable and we'll just wait for it to do its magic okay so it's done we'll go to the um, yep we go to this okay and and our design is completed oh i haven't done this did i miss out on this part oh well i can always fix it back later so you get the gist you get what i mean and uh, if you notice here look it's clickable okay so i'll just click it okay because it's it's clickable just click it and it brings you to it's, it's loading up my website okay so it, it works so make sure you always check your file that your file works so that is all for today i hope you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you like this tutorial and if you want to see more tutorials from me do subscribe and click the bell button so whenever i have a new tutorial you will get it in your inbox so thank you so much and i hope to see you next week bye now